What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So we looked at the Mint budgeting platform in the past and we also checked out a new platform called Personal Capital on Friday, which is currently my favorite. But today we have another viewer suggestion and contender for the best budgeting platform and that is YNAB or You Need a Budget. Now, just from the name alone, I absolutely love it, but let's take a closer look at what YNAB has to offer, how it compares to the other budgeting platforms that we talked about before that are on the market currently, and most importantly, how it can positively impact your personal finances. If you do get value out of this video, please consider hitting the like button and sharing it with someone who you think could benefit from a budgeting platform. All right, let's jump right into it. So YNAB was actually started by a CPA, which is a certified public accountant, and the founder actually created the platform initially to help him and his wife better manage their own finances. And that is awesome because in a lot of cases, great products and services come from solving real life issues, and that is exactly where YNAB came from. But this once rudimentary software has grown exponentially in popularity, especially over the past few years, and they actually just released their update of YNAB 4, which offers a lot of new features and upgrades over the previous version. Now, now, if you aren't familiar with this platform at all, their approach to budgeting is very different from any of the other apps that we've looked at, and that's because they strongly encourage you to live off of what money you made last month. Now, the new version of the software refers to this as the age of your money, but essentially, they believe that by living on last month's income, this allows you to smooth out those financial bumps that we have all experienced at some point in our lives, and it also keeps you from living paycheck to paycheck. Plus, hypothetically, the older your savings are, the larger your cushion is when those unexpected instances do pop up. Now, outside of that, you'll also learn that the software really encourages you to follow their three guiding principles or rules, and that is give every dollar a job, embrace your true expenses, and my personal favorite, which is roll with the punches. So before we talk about the specific features of YNAB, I want to briefly talk about each of these guiding rules, because again, their approach to budgeting is very different from anything else that you've probably seen before. And I think it's really important to understand that before jumping into the mechanics of things. So giving every dollar a purchase is something that you may have heard of from financial experts like Dave Ramsey, who has his own budgeting platform called Every Dollar, which is essentially built around the entire idea of giving every single dollar a purpose. By allocating every single dollar, whether that be towards your spending or towards your saving and investing, you can reduce those unnecessary expenses and also begin to build discipline, which is extremely important for your long-term financial health. As with most things, understanding what you need to do in order to accomplish a goal is usually the easy part, but actually getting yourself to be disciplined and following those steps is often the hardest part. Now, the second rule of embracing your expenses simply means that you need to plan ahead for those large purchases or expenses, maybe like a family vacation or any kind of large gift. Because when you're looking at your money on a month by month basis, you can save up tons of money over a long period of time, but when you go and drop several thousand dollars in order to take your family to Fiji, well, it kind of throws all of that planning out the window. Now, that does not mean that you should not take your family to Fiji or wherever you want to travel, but this simply means that you need to plan ahead financially, just like you plan ahead to book the hotel rooms or the plane tickets. And lastly, the most important rule, in my opinion, which is rolling with the punches. Like I said earlier, these unexpected emergencies are bound to happen eventually, and typically they also have a large financial burden attached to them. So regardless of what it is you might have to face in the future, being financially prepared for these unexpected circumstances can really help to lighten the burden of the emergency, whatever that might be. Additionally, this third step means that you don't need to have everything figured out before you start your budget. You have to make changes over time and adjust each category appropriately depending on your needs in life. But the most important part is that you get started, whether that be through the YNAB platform, a competitor's platform, or simply writing it down on a sticky note and putting it on the fridge. But through all of the ups and downs that come with your financial life, remember to roll with the punches. Okay, so now that we understand what the YNAB platform is encouraging you to strive for as far as your goals, let's talk about the reason that most of you probably clicked on this video, and that is what does YNAB actually have to offer in the way of features. So right off the bat, you'll immediately notice that YNAB has a very simple layout that in my eyes is essentially a fancy spreadsheet. Now, I don't mean this in a bad way at all, and if you're used to platforms like Personal Capital or Quicken, which are much more complex, then something with such a simple and easy to understand layout is actually a breath of fresh air if you ask me. As we talked about earlier, you can see all of your spending categories, which can either be auto-generated or you can create your own custom categories as well. From there, you can set your spending limits for each of these categories, and YNAB will track how close you are to reaching those spending maximums each month. 
Now, I know that none of this is anything groundbreaking, and we've seen all of these features from other budgeting platforms that we've looked at, but I would again argue that this layout is much more simple than a lot of the competition that's out there. Obviously, in order to track all of your income and spending habits, you have to input all of those exterior accounts, which includes your checking and savings accounts, your investments, as well as any credit cards and debts that you might have. And that actually brings us to another great question that I know a lot of people ask about these budgeting platforms in general, and that is, are they secure? Well, at the end of the day, that is for for you to decide and I am by no means a cybersecurity genius, but from the hours of research I did creating this video, it seems to me like You Need a Budget takes their security very seriously. They have several measures in place including the two-factor authentication that we have all become very, very familiar with, and also they don't allow any of their employees to have access to any of your data unless you ask them to do that or if it is required by law. Additionally, You Need a Budget states that they do not sell your information and when you erase your YNAB account, they also erase that data from their system as well. Okay, but if they aren't selling your information and they aren't making custom catered recommendations like what Mint does from different advertisers, then how in the world are they making any money? Well, that brings us to the not so good news and that is that You Need a Budget is not free. Now, hold on, because I know this might sound a little ridiculous considering Mint is a very similar platform and is completely free to use, but let's break down the pricing because it's not that high in my opinion. And at the end of the day, it is an investment and it will end up saving you a lot of money if you use this platform properly. So to rip the band-aid, at the time of making this video in mid-2020, You Need a Budget costs $11.99 per month, or you can buy it for the whole year, which is $84, and I definitely recommend that option because that'll actually end up saving you about $59 for the whole year. Now, maybe you think that is way too much, maybe you think that's a great deal, but the other good news is that there is a 34-day free trial, and it's not like you have to commit to the full year and then decide that you don't really like it or that the software doesn't work for you. You can try the full version of the software with complete access for 34 four days completely free, and then decide if it's something that you think is worth your hard-earned money. I think we should also address the elephant in the room, and that is, why would a company aimed at helping people with the most basic, rudimentary form of their personal finances charge what is, for some people, such a high fee? Well, again, that's a personal thing for you to decide, but here's my argument. Most of us have endless subscription services nowadays with Netflix, Spotify, Disney+, Hulu, and of course, FarmersOnly.com. In fact, the average American family currently pays $237 per month in subscription services, which might be really hard to believe, but the numbers don't lie. So if you ask me, a service that is $84 for the year, which breaks down to $7 a month, that has the potential to not only save you thousands of dollars, but also help you take hold of your personal finances, which ultimately will help you build your wealth in the future, is well worth it in my opinion. I mean, a lot of people spend $7 at Starbucks in a single day, and if they just would invest in a budgeting platform like You Need a Budget, then they might know that they probably shouldn't be spending $7 at Starbucks every day. Boom. Roasted. <clears throat> So again, justifying the cost is a personal decision, but if you ask me, the cost is well worth the benefit. Now, that aside, you also have the ability to set goals, track all of your investments, and manage the various bills, including your crazy number of subscription services. But this brings us to some of the cons of the platform that I personally feel could be improved. First of all, there's no bill payment ability, which is kind of normal for these mobile budgeting platforms, but it is a feature that higher-end softwares like Quicken do offer. And the ability to not only manage all of your bills, but also pay all of your bills right under the same app would be really useful, so I definitely hope they add this feature in the future. There's also no credit monitoring, which is kind of surprising considering pretty much every competitor has this feature, and it wouldn't be that difficult to add, but not the end of the world. And lastly, there's no retirement planning or tax reporting, which for a mobile platform I can kind of understand, but again, other services like Personal Capital and Quicken do have these higher level features, plus Personal Capital is completely free. So after doing a lot of extensive research on You Need a Budget and comparing it to Mint's, Personal Capital, and the many other competitors that are out there on the market, I don't know if I can say that it would be my personal choice, but I think that's just because I prefer a more comprehensive platform. But if you are just looking for a step up from the basic spreadsheet, then You Need a Budget could be the right option for you, and if anything, I would say giving the free trial a shot is definitely worth it. Now, I know that I spent all of that time justifying the cost, however, it is hard to recommend You Need a Budget when there are lots of platforms like Personal Capital that has more services and it 
is completely free to use. Personally, I would pay for the free services of personal capital because it is an investment in a budgeting platform that is something that you're going to see a huge return on if you properly use that software. So at the moment, I think personal capital would still be my personal choice for a more comprehensive budgeting and financial management tool. But if you just want a free to use and simple platform right from your mobile phone, then I would definitely check out my review on Mint because that is very similar to YNAB and it's completely free. So let me know what you think of You Need a Budget down in the comment section below and what you personally use to keep track of your monthly budget. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with someone who you think could get value out of this content as well. As always, take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.